and gentlemen, it is opening night of Halloween Horror Nights 2022 here in Hollywood. And it's very special to us this year because we were actually invited out to press. Now, for those you know, for five years, this is what the channel was built on, Halloween Horror Nights. And this is a dream come true for me. And I want to just give a, a very special thank you to the uh, lovely people at Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights for inviting us out for media night. There are a ton of mazes to go to. There's this one right here. This still walker is probably one of the scariest things I've ever seen at this event. I mean, look at this thing, man. This thing is nuts. We are here opening night. The chaos is here. Hayes is with me. This is actually her first time at the event. How excited are you? Very. Very excited. We're already in. We just got through the first, like, two scare zones, and there's so much already. Like, I'm already super stoked to be here. Check out some mazes. Let's go do some walkthroughs. We're even doing a try not to get scared challenge tonight. Rob's here. Got a lot of friends sprinkled out throughout the park. So let's go have fun. Let's go enjoy it. I'm super stoked to be here. Lots to experience. And we're here to come along with us because it's going to be a wild ride tonight. wondering what I thought of this maze because leading up to it I'm not a fan of the weekend but I will say this I had a really fun time going through that maze uh, scares were great visually it was just really good um, the music was very distorted so it didn't it wasn't just the music playing even though there had scenes where the music was just playing but they distorted it in some way and form throughout the maze so that was a lot of fun and we really enjoyed that uh, but yeah, I said I was gonna be the first to admit when I was wrong, and I was wrong. The weekend really blew me away. So, with that being said, we're gonna go over to Killer Clowns next. Before we do so, how did you think the weekend was for your first maze ever at Halloween Horror Nights? What'd you think? Better than I expected. Really? Yeah, it really was. We, we weren't, we didn't know what to expect going into this, so. I'm not glad. a fan of the weekend music either. But, I mean, I, I will say this, we had a lot of fun going through it. And I, I honestly can't wait to go through more times, honestly. And I already know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, and all that, but it's like, I gave it a shot. You know, I was one of the guys that was not for it, and I gave it a shot, and it blew me away. So, we're gonna go check out Killer Clowns next. We're very excited for that one. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. So let's go do it.
we just got out of Killer Clowns from Outer Space and Universal Monsters Legends Collide. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, uh, exact same thing from 2019. However, that didn't stop me one bit from loving it. I felt right at home when I went back into the, the tent to see the clowns, to see all the most iconic scenes of the film. It was a lot of fun. And then to go into Universal Monsters Legends Collide, um, another original done with the music of Slash. A lot of fun. Um, probably so far my favorite maze tonight. Um, and it's just been a ton of fun so far. So we've done three mazes down here according to our game plan, which was uh, so far correct. Uh, we did the weekend and then right across we did, um, well there, then we went to Killer Clowns, but in our game plan we said go to Universal Monsters. Right now Universal Monsters seems to be the least amount of waiting, so you might want to go to Killer Clowns right after the weekend and then go to Universal Monsters since Universal Monsters seems to be the less out of the ones that are here right now down in the lower lot. But some other great stuff they have down here for your enjoyment, uh, of course, they have the Killer Clowns themed food with the Killer Clown, uh, killer Barbecue from Outer Space and right across JoJo's Ice Cream. Um, and also right above Jurassic World, they have the Weekend After Hours Nightmare Bar. That's where they're selling the pizza fries. We're probably not gonna get to go to that tonight, but we are gonna be coming throughout the season, so we're gonna definitely go up there at least one of the nights. Um, so yeah, what did you think? of Killer Clowns and Universal Monsters. I like the monsters more. But like, Killer Clowns was awesome. Especially to see you so excited. And, you know, Monster Cup! We did buy the Monster Cup. That was the exclusive, like, refillable cup for this season. Um, when I saw that, I was like, we have to have it. So, we're gonna go up to the lower lot pretty soon. Or the upper lot again. Get the Terror Tram and the rest of the mazes. And do the Try Not To Get Scared Challenge really soon. But, uh, stay tuned. Bye to the theme park. It's good to be here. It's not good to see him, because I see him all the time. These guys. But it's good to see him back there. But him I see all the time. So it's like, you know. Mother! Is that
Natsuki Skill Challenge 2022. And I get a new opponent finally. <laughs> I haven't seen him since 20... 1930s. What was it? What was it? 20. No, it was the 1930s. That's where we're back okay. now in the 1930s. Yeah, yeah. all right. No, it's been a while. All right, old opponent. Everybody knows the rules. We gotta be fair. Yeah. Straight. That's right. Down the, That's right. Down the line. That's right. That's right. So I'm gonna be reviewing this footage. All right.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just got done with Halloween Horror Nights 2022, and opening night was such a blast, so fun. Uh, let's go back and let's talk about things that we did, because once you get so caught up in this, I always forget to vlog. I'm not the best vlogger out there, but I try. Uh, Terror Tram, very fun. Uh, the Hollywood Harry stuff was great, a great classic Halloween vibe, and it was very well uh, put together. And then going over to the Nope and Us area was so cool. I think that was easily the best part of the Terror Tram. One of my favorite Terror Trams in a long time, so I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, right after that, we went over to Scarecrow and Halloween. Now, Scarecrow was phenomenal. It blew me away. They did a very good job on Scarecrow. Easily one of the best originals that Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood has ever produced. Um, and I very much enjoyed Scarecrow. Halloween 1978 was good to go back. It seemed like they added a couple new things into it and make it like more fresh and everything. So it was great to see where it all started so we can go to theaters and watch how it all ends. So I'm very much looking forward to Halloween ends at that. Um, after that, we actually saw The weekend and Vince Vaughn uh, during the uh, Harry Potter area. We didn't get footage of them because, like, I didn't know who they were until, like, someone brought it up to me. And I was like, oh, shit, yeah, that is Vince Vaughn. Oh, shit, yeah, that is The weekend." So that was cool. Um, and then we went over to La Llorona. Now, we went to Universal Horror Hotel, which easily, a lot of people, for some reason, like, did not enjoy it as much. I loved it. I looked at it as a twisted version of Twilight Zone's Tower of Terror. Um, so that was a lot of fun. That was really good. Another great original, and I'm hoping they bring back more originals because, I mean, they used the Walking Dead building. They didn't even look like the Walking Dead building. They gutted that thing completely, so I couldn't even really focus on what was going on. Um, and then after we went to La Llorona, La Llorona was so great. I hadn't been in there since 2012. A lot of new things added, and it fits so well in the new location, and it was a great throwback to see it all over again. La Llorona was terrific. And then to end it all, we went through the Horrors of Blumhouse, Freaky and the Black Phone. And it was really good, honestly. Surprisingly, like, the Freaky area was awesome. And we just had a great time doing that. We did the Try Not To Get Scared Challenge. Universal, I want to very much, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much for inviting us out for Media Night. For those of you who don't know, for five years now, we've been doing Nights of Horror. And from the start, it's it was always talking about Horror Nights. And everything we've accomplished, everything we've done thus far, these next, you know, these, these last five years has all led up to this. And I am a, a forever grateful. If this is the only time we get to do media ever, like, I am forever grateful for that. Because this was such an amazing experience, and um, I, I will never forget it. And luckily, I had my girlfriend with me to be there the entire time to support me and... Uh, share my excitement about the event and everything it, it was a fun time so with all that being said if you guys enjoyed today's video hit that like button with that subscribe button and that bell notification be where every time i put up a new video haunt season is just getting started so we got a lot more content for you guys coming out very soon but until then i'm your host anthony you watching the nights of horror and we'll see you guys in the fog